I've come into some money and I'm after a three, four or five axis vertical machining centre. Paul, what am I going to go for? What are you going to spend your money on? Yep. Well, if you don't buy yourself a boat or a new pair of shoes or even the cameraman, maybe a new camera, which I know he's after, um, you could buy <laughs> a Fanuc Robo Drill. Right. Now, that's exactly what R&G Precision have done here more than once. In fact, there's <laughs> six machines, five axis robo drill machines behind us here. I'm going to stop you there. They've actually got 15 on their shop floor, but six of which are five axis and the rest are three. Yeah, five axis machines, the ones that we've got here. Um, you know, they pick these machines purely because they're so flexible these days. And I think what you're finding is that companies are going to the market to look for a vertical machining centre. And actually, when they see what these machines are capable of, they're opting for these as a solution. OK, so we've had a live event and the one thing that we came up against is, well, actually, I'm going to ask you, why are people maybe not considering these or haven't been considering these so far? Well, these are BBT30 machines, and what you would have found historically is people may shy away from BT30 because they might be doing some harder steels like we're doing okay. here on this particular machine, and they might think that the BT30 or the BBT30 is not capable of cutting it, but it is, and that's what our live event actually demonstrated. We had the guys there, Andy Harvey, who was actually cutting stainless steel on one of these machines extremely successfully. The metal removal was fantastic. Okay, so we're talking about it's capable in terms of power. What about cost? Well, I mean, you can see the, the machines are smaller. Okay, there are areas that are slightly different to a normal VMC. You've got less tools. You've got a different style tool changer, which is uh, actually much faster. But the machines can generally cost less than a, than a BT40 vertical machine. But again, that depends on the application. If I'm making a lot of repetitive work and I want it made quickly, this is the machine. Absolutely. And I mean, you can look, Dale here is actually setting this machine as we speak. The part that's being machined here is, has got uh, a total of a 25 minute run time. Now, that's both the first and the second op. Previously, on a BT40 machine, this was being done in over 40 minutes. So, this machine has massively reduced the cycle time on these parts. Uh, just as a result of the fact that the tool change is faster, the rapids are quicker, the acceleration's faster, the spindle, some of these spindles can go up to 24,000 RPM. I'm going to add to this as well, sustainability, the energy levels. The energy consumes. level, the consumption is less, these cost less, you plug them in the wall and they're going to cost you less than some other BT40 machines. So you're not only making parts faster, you're saving time as well. But let's have a look at the footprint if we right, walk around okay. the walk around the back here because this is an area of concern for lots of manufacturers yeah they worry about you know how much their floor how much floor space they've got for a machine but you can see here you're kind of like two meters by two meters for one of these and if you don't want a swarf conveyor you can simply exit the swarf out the back of the machine that's and so easy it's so simple and it's very very effective i know that enzo when i've spoken to him because we're at rng precision he's also said moving forward with this you can automate and have a robotic arm automating from one to the next to the next to the next i mean that's a plus as well it is the automation element can come into play with these these are five axes so they're doing multiple faces uh, in one operation so some might class that as automation as it stands but when you look at the machines they're very small they are a, a, they're a real choice now for manufacturers regardless of what you're actually machining because they can cost you less and make you similar parts much quicker talking about costing less so i'm not going to go for the shoes i'm not going to go for the boat i think chris still wants a camera but if i want to make some money there you go the final robo drill